thermostat calling for cool, but not getting any cool air. Fan is running. I'm willing to bet. Just from looking at this pan, that this uh, drain pan was clogged. Tripping this float switch. Once it trips the float switch, it hits the lockout relay. And the lockout relay can only be reset by removing 24 volt power and then reapplying it. So this thing's just been running non-stop. Here's our lockout relay. This yellow and brown wire goes to the contactor. This should be closed. We have 24 volts between the two points. Uh, that means this lockout relay is open. When you remove power to it, it should close. Power is removed and we have continuity. You can see this on the diagram. I'm mainly making this for my work colleagues that work at this particular property, but follow along if you want. Always refer to your wiring diagram. On this particular model, there's three things that could cause this to go out. High pressure switch, low pressure switch, or this float switch right here. 95% of the time, it's gonna be your float switch. So I'm just gonna clean out this pan the best I can and then flush it with water. I've got a washer hose that I've combined two together. We have our water coming in and our water coming out on the side of this heat pump. Normally, I wouldn't, you don't want, really wanna use water from a loop system like this as it is supposed to be treated. But I know this cooling system and the water is not treated. There's our valve to turn it on and off. I'm just gonna fill this pan up. Yep, man, it's not draining at all. That's why I got the hose, because I can also clear this line with the hose and the water. Put that in there. It's gonna do short spurts. Maybe one more just for good luck. We're now draining. Again, this is property specific. This is an old regulation system where they used to regulate the power usage. This electrical company though went out of business many years ago and we still have all of these Energy Star things that, that can sometimes trigger the air conditioner not to work. So I just remove them on every single one as they are no longer in use and just cause problems. Tighten. Since I'm here and the power's off, I'm gonna tighten the, make sure the contactor's tight. Just a little maintenance. Then I'm gonna put my cover back on for the fan. Don't wanna leave my hose in there, which I've done before. You apply power and it should kick on. Nine amps, compressor is on. I can feel this pipe under here. The suction line is pretty cold. All right, now we're cooling. We've got chill water coming in. We've got warmer water going out. Oh, I don't wanna forget that. Put that cap back on. Hope that helps y'all. See you on the next video.